everybody, I'm James and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe and leave me a comment if you like. Alright, this one is called A Fail for the Okie Doke. Yes. Falling for the Okie Doke is like, it's like something you never want to do, you know. You know, somebody scam you out of something or something like that. So, you don't want that, that to happen to you. Mm. Coffee. All right. Yeah. It was one Sunday, summer, summer day, you know. I was, I just washed my car down and everything. And I was looking at the car. Looking at how good it looked, you know. And thinking about what I was going to do, you know, I was ready to go. I had uh, some money. I had like $70 in my pocket. So I was sitting there looking at the car, turning the radio on, listening to it and stuff. And this guy came up. And he was he, he was smiling big and stupid. You know, he, he looked stupid to me. So I said, I said, uh, what's what's up? What's up, man? He said, what's up? He said, wow, wow, your car looks really good. I should have knew something then. I should have knew he was full of <laughs> then at that time. I should have knew, but I didn't key in on it. I guess I was young and, and, and dumb, you know. So he said, wow, your car looks spectacular. You know, people didn't talk like that from from. Um, where I was from, like in Chicago, people didn't say spectacular or wow, gee willikers, you know, they didn't say stuff like that, especially in the hood, you know, so that was a no, no. So when I'm saying that I didn't key in on it, I didn't key in on it. So he kept talking. He said, look, I have some rims. I have rims, uh, that you can. You, you want to buy him? You want to buy him? I said, no. Nah. Nah, see, I, I was kind of skeptical, you know. I said, no, nah, that's, right. that's all right. He said, no, no, really. He said, take me over to to get to get him. So I'm looking at him. I said, man, where's your car at? Where's your car? He said, oh, my car, my car is broke down, you know, in the garage at home, you know. You know, so I said, okay, well, that's that's possible. He said, take take me over here. I said, no, I'm not taking you. But I'll buy the rims if you can get them over here. He said, oh, man. I said, he said, okay, 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 pal. Okay, pal. I said, pal. Okay. He said, okay, pal. I can, I can, I can do that. He said, I tell you what, give me the money so I can get home. I said, how much you want for him? He said, I want $50, $50 for him, you know, for all four rims. And they're the, they're the chrome rims, too. They'll, they'll look good on this car. So, you know, I really wanted them. He sold me a dream, you know. So, I said, well, no, nah, I can't give you the money in advance, you know. He said, oh, no, no, just give me $50 and, and I'll come back. I'll come back with him and you can hold. He, he gave me his keys. He said, give him the keys and here's my uh, bank card or something like that. It was a bank card. So I looked at the bank card and said, he said, oh, and it's, it's like uh, $800 on there, you know. So he said, here's my bank card and here's, but nothing with a picture on it. It was just a name, you know. So I said, he gave me the keys. He said, it's the keys to my car and the keys to my house. So I said, how are you going to get in? He said, oh, I got, I keep a, I keep a key under the, the mat, you know. He kept, kept a key under the front mat, you know. So I was, I said, all right, man, you come right back. Do you understand? He said, oh, yes, yes. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do nothing to you. I wouldn't do nothing to you. You know. So I'm like. 
All right. So I handed him $50. He said, oh, great, great, great. Be right back, pal, okay? I said, who does Mark think he's talking to? But in, in reality, I was the Mark, you know, not him. But I was thinking he was a Mark, you know. So I gave him the money and he went off. And I sat on the car waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Then a couple of my friends came by and said, Hey man, what's up, what's up man? What you waiting on? I said, I said, Oh, I'm waiting on waiting on this dude to come back with my, my rims and stuff. So they said, Rims? I said, Yeah. What kind of rim? I said, chrome rims. So he said, Oh wow. He said, What where is he then? Where is he? I said, He's uh he had to go home, he had to catch the bus home and get get the rims and he says he's gonna get his uh cousin to bring him back over here. So maybe he checking on his cousin and stuff like that. He said, Okay, all right, we'll wait with you, we'll wait with you. So my friends were waiting with me, waiting with me. So they waited and waited, we waited and waited and waited till it started getting dark, you know. So I said, oh man. So I said, I got his keys and I got his his bank card, you know. So they said, man, you better call call that card and see if there's any money on it, you know. So I said, Wait. so I, I, I went in and I, I called the number on the back of the card and they said, it was invalid that it went out a couple of years ago you know so that really that said that sparked in my head then oh my goodness I got scammed I fell for the okie doke so we went out looking for this guy to no avail no avail so after that, that was that was uh that was, all I had was seventy dollars. So he took fifty. So that only had like ten dollars. Well, uh, twenty dollars left, you know. So I, I said, "Man, goodness gracious, this guy got me," you know. So I was kicking myself the whole time, and my friends didn't make it better. Didn't make it no better because they said, "Oh, you a mob, man! You let this, he got out on you, he got out on you, <laughs> he got out on you, man, man! I did it too, I did it too, too. You that stupid, you know?" So they they was all bragging on me and stuff like that. But I never could find him. I thought I saw him one time, but that wasn't him, you know. But After that, I knew not to trust no one. No, 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 no. That was that 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 gave me the incentive to not trust anybody. You know, so anybody came up with a deal that was too good to be true, it was true. All right, in my head, it was true, and I I didn't fall for it no more. But he got me. He got me for my fifty bucks, and I could have. I could have did some something with that, you know, with the fifty bucks, you know. So I, I, I walked with just twenty dollars in my pocket, had to pinch off for twenty, you know, till I got paid again. But that was it. That was it. No more. Nobody got out on me again, you know, because it's a tough economy out here, man. What? You know, you got to keep every penny that you can save, you know, keep it, you know, especially for somebody to come and scam you out of money or rob you or something like that. 
you know. So, man, I don't know. Well, that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit the bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, share, share. Share my videos with your loved ones. Share them with your friends. Share them with your family. Share them with your loved ones. And even share them with your enemies. All right. Adios. Adios. God.